Unlocking the secrets of Toyota mileage correction with CG100X step-by-step -step guide. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostics, programming, and advanced vehicle solutions. Before we dive into today's topic, I need to share a quick but important disclaimer. This video is strictly for educational and informational purposes. All demonstrations and discussions are meant to guide vehicle technicians, professionals, and learners who want to understand automobile diagnostics, electronic programming, and mileage correction. We fully adhere to fair use guidelines, utilizing images, clips, and references solely for educational review. No copyrighted material is used for commercial gain, and all trademarks and brand names belong to their respective owners. Always remember, when working on vehicles, follow the manufacturer's recommendations and ensure compliance with local regulations. Now, before we get into the step-by-step -step process, I have one small request. Many of you watch these videos and find them helpful, but a lot of you forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free, it takes just a second, and it goes a long way in keeping this channel alive. Plus, by subscribing and ringing the bell icon, you'll never miss an update on the latest diagnostic tools, tips, and tricks. And if you find this content valuable, consider dropping a super thanks to support the channel. It really helps us create more in-depth content like this. Now, let's get started. What's new with the CGDI CG 100X Programmer? If you've been following updates on the CG 100X Programmer, you'll be excited to know that it now supports mileage correction for Toyota instrument clusters featuring the R7F701441 MCU processor. However, before you begin, ensure that your CG 100X software is updated to version 1.7.0.0 or above, as older versions might not support this function but which Toyota models are compatible with this latest update. Let's take a look at some of the supported models that come equipped with the R7F701441 processor. Toyota BZ4 slash BX4. Toyota Platinum 4X. Toyota Frontlander. Toyota Corolla. Toyota 11. If you own or work with any of these models, this guide will walk you through the mileage correction process using the CGDI CG 100X programmer. Step-by-step -step guide. How to correct mileage on a 2023 Toyota Frontlander cluster. Step one, remove and disassemble the instrument cluster. The first step in this process is to carefully remove the instrument cluster from the vehicle. Since clusters contain sensitive electronic components, handle them with extreme care. Once removed, open up the cluster to access the R7F701441 processor which is the key component responsible for mileage data storage. Step two, prepare the cluster for mileage correction. Before you proceed, you need to power up the instrument cluster. Use the wiring diagram provided in the CG 100X software to ensure a correct and safe connection. Keep in mind that a brand new cluster will initially display zero kilometers. So don't be alarmed if you see this reading. Step three, select the correct model in the CG 100X software. Once your cluster is powered on, open the CG100X software and navigate through the following path. Dashboard Toyota Frontlander R7F701441. Selecting the correct vehicle model and processor is crucial to ensure that the tool communicates properly with the cluster. Step 4. Follow the wiring diagram and prepare for connection. At this stage, you'll need to make some modifications to the circuit board. Specifically, you'll have to remove four capacitors, two ADNF each, from the cluster. Don't worry, the CG100X software provides a detailed wiring diagram that highlights the exact locations of these components. Follow the diagram carefully and use proper soldering tools to avoid damage. Step five, connect the CG100X programmer to the cluster. Now, it's time to establish a connection between your CGDI CG 100X programmer and the instrument cluster. Here's what you need to keep in mind. Use the D1 adapter, as this is required for reading data from the RH850 processor inside the cluster. Do not extend the D1 adapter cable. A longer cable can cause instability and connection issues. Ensure that the 12V power supply is connected to the cluster throughout the process to avoid interruptions. Step six, read the chip ID and extract data. 
Once everything is connected, proceed with reading the chip ID to confirm that the processor is properly recognized. After verification, read and save the dflash and pflash data separately. Store these files carefully in case you need to restore the original data. Step 7. Calculate mileage using built-in algorithms. The CG100X programmer is equipped with advanced algorithms specifically designed for the R7F701441 processor. However, to use these calculations, your device must be connected to the internet. Once online, the tool will automatically analyze the data and determine the correct mileage value. Step 8. Verify and input the new mileage. Before making any changes, double-check the current mileage displayed on the cluster. Then, proceed with entering the desired mileage value. For example, if you want to set the mileage to 35,554 kilometers, simply type it in and click OK. Step 9. Write the new mileage data. Once the mileage value is confirmed, the CG100X programmer will write the new mileage data to the cluster. This process might take a few moments, so be patient. Do not disconnect anything until the system confirms that the operation is complete. Step 10. Reassemble the instrument cluster. Now that the mileage has been successfully updated, it's time to put everything back together. Reattach the four capacitors that were removed earlier. Double check all soldering points to ensure proper connectivity. Reassemble the cluster and reinstall it in the vehicle. Step 11. Final verification. Does it work? Before calling it a day, Power on the instrument cluster one last time and verify that the new mileage matches the value set in the CG100X software. If everything looks good, congratulations. You successfully corrected the mileage on a 2023 Toyota Frontlander cluster. Final thoughts? Let's discuss. That's it for today's step-by-step -step tutorial. The Siege DICG100X programmer has made mileage correction on Toyota vehicles with the R7F701441 processor easier than ever, but it's always important to follow each step carefully to avoid errors. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you used the CG100X programmer for mileage correction before? Did this guide help you understand the process better? What other diagnostic tools or programming guides would you like to see next? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. I read every single one. Also, don't forget to share this video with anyone who might find it useful. A massive thank you to all my subscribers for your continuous support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell icon, and don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this content. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, consider leaving a super thanks. Every contribution helps us create even more in-depth tutorials for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy diagnosing!